What's up, YouTube? It's a Buford's tank. I'm gonna replace the blue background that I have on the 55 cichlid tank. Um, it never did come out good, as you can see the streaks in it. I had actually did it twice. It didn't come out um, the way I liked it. And I also used, um, I did it on another tank also, and I, I had pretty much the same issues. Um, I never did put out that video. I think I need to put it out when I did the whole paint in the background. But um, So I'm going to change this. I'm going to scrape all of this off. And I'm going to redo it black and see how it comes out. I've done the black before. As you can see on the Piranha tank, it came out flawless. So um, I'm going to redo this one and um, do it in black. So this is the before. And... Um, once I get this off and get the black on, I'll show you the after and see the difference. Okay, real quick, if you're doing this for the first time and you have a big tank like this and the way I had the smaller tank on the bottom, you know, understand before you start that you're gonna have to drain most of the water and you're gonna wanna put it in something because you're gonna wanna keep that water. So for instance, I was gonna do my normal water change today. So the, the water that I would normally take out, I took out and discarded it. But then the extra water I put in the big bucket, I keep my filters running um, just so I keep the bacteria alive. This is, I had to take the stuff out of the smaller tank that I keep my piranha in. This is the water. This is another bucket full of the water with the from the 55 there's the the small tank with the water in it and I have my bucket over here with also from the small tank with the piranha in it so the point being understand that before you start this process that you're gonna have to have something to put your your extra water in because you're not gonna want to um, get rid of it also understand that if you have a big tank like this and you have to move it if you do keep some water run in there, as I do, you're gonna, the tank is still very, very heavy. So you're gonna wanna remove the rocks, all of the extra stuff in there. You're gonna wanna remove everything from the bottom so you can slide it out away from the wall. But understand it, it is gonna be heavy. So you do have to be careful. Now, this is the way it looks in the back. I'm gonna scrape this all off. I've done it before, it's extremely easy. What I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna show you, but it's very simple, I'm gonna. Okay, so I said I wasn't gonna show you, but here it is, nothing complex about it. Just, uh, it's actually, this is an old t-shirt that I don't need anymore. I just wet it a little bit, you know, it's not dripping, it's not soaking wet. Um, let's see if I can do it, show you. Just wipe it, just get the whole thing damp. I do a little bit better once I put the camera down. I think I gotta wet it a little bit more. But that's it, you just, I just want to get the, the back of this, this acrylic wet. And um, let me see if I can show you. It's going to be very easy. I got my scraper. As you can see, very easy to scrape off. So it's nothing to it. It's nothing complex at all. As you can see, this is the dry part. It's a little bit tougher, but it does come up. But once I wet the rest of this, it's going to come off with no problem very very easy so um so that's it as I said it's, it's extremely easy it's not going to take me more than a few minutes to get this off okay here we go a few short minutes it's already completely off no more blue on the back I did keep a little bit on the on the um on the trim I'm not really gonna even take my time to scratch that off I'm just gonna when I put the black on just go over that just the back of it nobody's gonna see it it's not really a big deal to me but uh you know it's off already it only took me a few minutes and I cleaned it up all right let me show you guys what I'm using to apply the acrylic first of all it's the I'm using craftsman acrylic paint 16 ounce bottle um, I got this from Michael's from the craft store. I think I paid about four bucks for it. 
I, was, I just bought this one today. This one, I had a little bit left over from my other tank. So, um, not even going to need all of this. Not even close to it. Um, this is the old paintbrush I'm going to, the roll, I'm going to use the same one. This one, if you see, it has a smooth edge as opposed to this one. It's more of the fluffy one. I used this before. I didn't get real good results with it. So I would definitely try to find the, the, the one with the smooth surface. It's like, like this one is more like cotton or whatever it is, but it has the, it, it's fluffy. This one is more like a sponge material and it's smooth. It, it rolls on a lot better. Um, regular paint rollers from the dollar store, nothing special. Same thing with these. I got them from Home Depot and the other ones from the dollar store. Not expensive at all. A couple of bucks. This is my paint um, bucket or whatever you want to call it. My paint tray. This has the old paint in it from last time. I'm in the process of peeling out the rest of it. It comes out real easy. So, um, you know, the, the products are very inexpensive. Like I said, four bucks for the acrylic. It's a lot of it. You're going to definitely have extra if you're just doing one tank. Um, 99 cent, cent store tin and dollar store brushes and rollers. Nothing, you know, expensive. I'd say in total, it all cost me maybe six bucks at the most. So nothing, nothing high tech to it. Definitely gets the job done. Okay, the next phase. I put my first coat of black acrylic paint on the back. Um, as you can see, there's blemishes. I gotta let this dry. It'll probably take maybe 15 or 20 minutes for it to complete, completely dry. And then I'll go over it with the next coat. Okay, got the paint on. Second coat, I decided to do the sides of it. Still not um, finished drying, so I gotta let it sit, but it looks excellent. No claws in it. Not bad at all. Okay, here we go. We're finished. Got the black acrylic. Also did the sides. It's looking flawless. Fish seem to like it. I like the way it looks, it looks good. doesn't seem to have the, I lost a little bit of the brightness because of the blue background. Uh, it reflected some of the light, whereas the black just kind of absorbs it. But um, still looks good. Maybe I'll get a, a brighter light. But overall, definitely looks good. The color comes out. You see the color of the fish a little bit better really stands out. You're probably not going to see it as well through the camera as it looks live, but it looks good. They always seem to know when the camera's on. But there it is. With the black acrylic on, it is done. Now it matches the bottom tank. That one's still clearing up. This one came out pretty good. I like it. So there you have it. Definitely go with the acrylic paint. Real simple, real easy. There you have it.